because my hair on off is too free. It gets puffy. That's why I have my hoodie on. <laughs> Henry, uh, right in front of you here. Obviously, you showed or reminded everyone that you have an Olympic gold medal in your back pocket. We were able to uh, take him down, do uh, pretty much what you want on the ground. Was that the game plan going into this fight, or is it something that you felt when you were in there? No, that was the game plan. I, I since the beginning, uh, when I, when I knew kind of like the uh, Sergio Perez was kind of, you know, he went to Canada and everything. I was like, that's uh, that's pretty much who I'm fighting next, and. Uh, I knew he was probably more likely to expect my strike and my karate, and uh, sometimes you have to turn it up, you know. Like I said before, before the fight, I said I'm a chameleon man. I I I have the ability to to wrestle and to strike, and I have, I have these 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 both both of these attributes that I can use, and you know I decided to use my wrestling for once, you know. So I'm kind of threw everybody off. <laughs> Yeah, I know afterwards, you know, the crowd had some booze. You kind of shrugged your shoulders, but were you happy with your performance? I mean, maybe... yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm a. I like to entertain, man. I like. Uh, I, I want to be a crowd pleaser too, you know. But I think with this fight, you know, Sergio's dangerous, man. He's a. Uh, he's he's a great striker. He's one of the best strikers uh, in our weight class, and uh, I knew I had to put him in deep waters, and that was you know ride him. Uh, not just not just use the wrestling, but actually call, you know focus on wrestling, ride them against you know grab wrist uh, on the hips, and making them carry my weight. So that was that's pretty much what we worked out the whole camp, and we just you know solidified the game plan. That's all. And when you were striking, did you feel like it was pretty even there, or do you just feel the ground was the path of least resistance, so that's where you went? Yeah, I felt so. I didn't I didn't feel Sergio. If, if Sergio had more power, uh, he'd be a little more dangerous. But I really you know he caught me with a few punches, and I was just like, huh. And I slipped it, but I didn't really uh, get razzled and dazzled. I knew when I hit him, it was kind of, you know, he, I felt like he felt it a little bit more. But for the most part, we're looking just for openings for takedowns and putting him on the ground. And, you know, we had a, a specific plan. And uh, even watching not just him, not just his fights, but his brother's fights too, they've always, uh, having wrestlers very po uh, problematic for them. So when they wanted this fight, I'm just like, man, are you, I was almost like, are you sure? <laughs> Just because of that that strong base, you know. And uh, but kudos to him, man. He he came out. He was confident that he could have got this win, and uh, I just, you know, I just came on top. Yeah, and last thing for me, it seems like in you know any normal circumstance, this would be the one that would do the trick in terms of getting you that second title shot. But it seems like there's this T.J. Dillashaw situation kind of lingering over the division, whether he's going to come down and fight Demetrius. So, what do you kind of expect to happen from here? No, well, like I said before, man, I think having that T.J. D.J. fight is great. Like I'm not, I think it's great because I think people are going to see how good Demetrius Johnson really is, because he's been kind of flopping all these 125 pounders. Now, if TJ does come down 125 pounds, I just think it's going to be really good for our weight class because, again, they're going to see how good Demetrius Johnson really is. But uh, I, from what I've heard, that TJ, uh, DJ doesn't want to necessarily fight him just yet or he wants to write money. And I said, I'll welcome TJ to, to the weight class. If DJ does not want to fight him, I'll fight TJ. And uh, I know with him, like, he's a former wrestler. I'm, I'm going to, you know, it's going to be more, it's going to be a mixed fight. And um, I like it at 125 pounds. And that's if... If DJ doesn't want to fight TJ, I'll take TJ. <laughs> hey, or Andy. DJ, you know. Both of them. I want to fight either one of them. Hey, Henry, right over here. Uh, if, if TJ doesn't happen, if DJ rematch doesn't happen, uh, Joseph Benavides, is that a fight you still want just with the way that, that fight ended sort of controversially? Yeah, absolutely. We were just talking about it backstage with uh, with Eric. Uh, you know, when, when, when Joseph does get healthy, we can... Uh, we can we can we can talk about the Grinch. <laughs> and, and where does this win sort of rank in your career? You know, Pettis, uh, very big name. Uh, you know, with his brother, and also just the fact he's been on a bit of a roll. You know, where where do you sort of rank this win in your career? Um, I'm not sure. I, I thought Hayes was a tougher opponent. I, I we we trained for him just a little bit more because Hayes Hayes had good takedowns and he was you know he was more dangerous on the ground and. You know, obviously losing to Demetrius, Joe, uh, and I, I've, I fought pretty much the best, the top five fighters in the world. I fought Benavides, I fought Wilson Hayes, I fought Demetrius Johnson, and now I fought uh, Sergio Perez. Man, like I'm not taking these, these, none of these fights lightly. I'm, I'm fighting the best of the best, and you know, I, I'm not fighting number 15 or number 16 guy. I'm, I'm top five. What's up? 
And I know you made weight yesterday, but how was the cut for you this time around? Uh, you know, obviously you made the weight and everything, but how did you actually feel in there? Uh, you know, with cutting that weight and everything. I feels good. I'm actually getting. I'm getting better at it. I'm heavy. I'm. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. You guys can see when I get into the cage. I'm just. I'm. I'm bulky. I'm solid. You can tell. I'm just. I feel like I'm a lot more muscular than 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 the, than, uh, than Sergio. Any any of the guys that I fought before. But uh, you know, I started doing. Uh, I started adjusting some of the stuff that Captain Captain Eric had. We uh, we did a. We did a hot bath the day of weigh-ins, which typically I do sauna suit, sauna, and I kind of do it old school wrestler style, you know, knock it off. But this time it was more kind of sitting in the hot tub, uh, absent salt, and just sitting there and just waiting it out. But I, I'll always look ugly dude, when I make weight. For some reason my head gets, I get, I get sucked back and I just I look like an AIDS patient. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I felt good. I felt good to save my legs and... Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Last question for you here. How are you celebrating tonight after this uh, big win? Celebrate. My family, my family's, uh, they always come down. We don't even, we, don't, we never go out, man. We just hang out at the, you know, if there's, if there's a, a patio or a porch, we'd be hanging out there, but <laughs> just hang out at the hotel, man. I eat. Henry, you were very sort of honest after after the DJ fight about needing to make improvements if you, if you were going to be able to do that. Did Sergio provide a test where you're really able to say, uh, you know, no, I have made those improvements, I am ready? Um, yes, I, I, but I've been making those improvements throughout the last couple of years, and uh, you know, I, I fought TJ, uh, DJ, I'm sorry, DJ three years when I just started started fighting. Uh, I think I'd made my my MMA debut in uh, April of 2000, uh, 2013, like my first fight. Never did amateur, went straight pro. Um, DJ beat me in a gray area. He beat me in an area where we had a game plan, rough up on the clinch, and uh, you know I got I was humbled, man. And uh, thus far, I've I've gone out to different parts of the world, gone out to Evolve, gone out to Thailand, gone out gone out to Brazil, and I'm planning on I'm planning on possibly going out to Europe. Uh, uh, with a uh, coach Kerian at CSA, uh, man, I've cross trained you know, to become the best in the world. And literally, man, like it's kind of kind of like a Pokemon character where you go out and you just, you know, compete and 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 find what what fits best for you. So I think I made, you know, leaps and bounds, man. Like I'm, I'm an athlete, man. I'm an athlete. I'm a fi I'm a fighter. And people ask me how are you gonna beat Demetrius Johnson, and, and I'll say, I mean, it's just at that time I think I, my answer was, man, just just time. Just time. Just give me time, and, and you guys will see my improvements. Do you feel the need at all to kind of chirp a little bit and, and start getting you know getting it out there that you do want that fight now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want that fight, man. Abs absolutely, 100%, man. I've when you get rocked in front of 20,000 people, man, that's like that's personal, man. <laughs> so I do, I do, but it's it. You know, it all depends on uh, what Demetrius Johnson wants. If he wants to fight TJ, like I said, I like I like the idea. Uh, it's great for our weight class, but if not, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm there, I'm there for TJ or 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 DJ. Hey Henry, congratulations right in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, and when you were in Edmonton, you had a chance to say something to Demetrius because he was right there. He was in the building tonight as well, right? Did you cross paths at all backstage? Uh, no, I didn't see him. I, I said hi to him at the at the hotel. I said, but no, 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 it was, you know, it's a friendly competition, but, st you know, I want to beat him, yeah. and he wants to beat me again. <laughs> That's all. And then last question, not related to your fight, and I apologize if you spoke about it this week. I didn't see it anywhere. Um, an update on your gold medal, and I know that, obviously, California with the fires, they, they've got some other things that they need to take care of, but have you stayed in contact with them about potentially recovering Yeah, it? I'm actually, I'm planning on going, I'm planning on going to California sometime next week. Because they haven't allowed anybody to, uh, they haven't allowed anybody uh, to enter the hotel. Because everything is just, they haven't allowed anybody to enter the the premises. So I'm, um, uh, I think we're planning on either going out there and getting permission, or going out there and just, you know, looking for it. Because my mentor really wants to find it. Because it, it was just my gold medal, it was my gold medal, my ring, my my Olympic ring, my belt. Uh, you know, I was doing a charity event, so I brought all my. You know my prized possessions, man. Like the, my sentimental values, and I, you know, I lost everything. But they say by the time something hits at 200 degrees, like Fahrenheit, like everything just melts. You know, so I'm just thinking, like, man, <laughs> you know, it's, it's done. What am I gonna do? 
But uh, I haven't, I, I'm going to talk to the Olympic Committee. They've sent me an email. I'm, I'm going to get a replacement. Uh, I just haven't done so because I've been, uh, you know, I've, obviously I've been training, but my right, my right foot was pretty, was pretty bad, man. I was pretty, I was pretty toasted. Uh, I couldn't really do as much as I wanted to because I was full of wart, uh, blisters, under, so I couldn't, I couldn't do much. But I, I remember the first time I pulled out of the surgical fight because I hurt my right hand, I, and I went up to him in Vegas and I says, man, I, I says I owe you one. I said, I'm sorry, man. Like, I wish I could have, I wish I could have fought, but my right hand, I couldn't open the door. It would hurt to kind of open the toothpaste cap. And I just, I knew I had to pull out, man. But I says, I apologize, man. But I says, I owe you one, dude. So when that whole fire thing went back, I'm just like, dude, I went back and I thought of surgery. I says, you know what? I'm going to be a man of my word. I owe you one. Well, now my coach just told me, pull out, man. Pull out. But you know what I did? I put two socks on, my wrestling shoe on, and that's how I practiced. Practically uh, about the, about half of the camp, I was practicing with, you know, with my shoes with with double socks. So, I uh, I wasn't out of my word. I said, "Oh, you want? I owe you one." <laughs> Henry, right here. Um, the, it's kind of a weird question, but you know, having that Demetrius fight so early in your career, uh, it's a loss. So a loss is never fun. But do you feel like you almost needed that fight because the improvements you've shown since then have been just incredible? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it, ma it, it made me respect every fighter because I really did. I mean, maybe I really, I really did believe, man. I really did believe that I was gonna beat up uh, Demetrius Johnson like when I fought him, like deep down in my heart, in my mind, like I thought I was gonna beat this dude, like beat him up, and uh, and I was watching that. I saw because you know sometimes I get these like Instagram like alerts, and I remember watching it. And I remember watching when I lost it, and I was like so like sad, like disappointed after the fight. I'm just like, I just kept looking down, like, dude, did this, did this just happen? But through that, it like it literally did, man. Like it made me respect him and every everybody else in my weight class. So it, it was humbling, man. It was it was very very humbling for me. And you said earlier, you know, if the TJ DJ fight happens, we'll see how good Demetrius Johnson is. I just want to get your opinion. Do you see Demetrius winning that fight if they do end up, you know, fighting at 125? Yes. Uh, yes. And, and again, man, I have no rivalry with TJ, but I can see Demetrius Johnson easily handling uh, uh, TJ because you lose an, an additional 10 pounds against a pound profound king going down to his weight class. Well rounded, good wrestler, good striker. Just a great mixed martial artist, man. You're, you're in for a treat, man. And he's gonna, he, he can say he's light and everything, but when you get down to 125 pounds, you're gonna feel it the next day. And Demetrius is 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 a cardio machine. I think that's what's gonna make that fight dangerous. Now, at 135 pounds, it might be a little different, but 125 pounds, I can I can say, uh, I can say it's it, I can say it's a, it'll, be, it'll be a pretty dominant win by Demetrius Johnson. for Henry. Mm -hmm. the, does a part of you get a little sad at the fact, like if you compare being dominant in other sports, usually the one who is dominant is in booed. In this, in this sport and tonight, you were dominant. You, you, you won all three rounds decisively and yet you were booed and kind of had to shrug your shoulders. Does that bother you? <laughs> uh, no, it, it, I feel bad for the fans. Like for me, no. Uh, I think for mixed martial arts, they're like, dude, everybody came on back. She was like, damn, that's the that's the wrestling everybody's been waiting for. You know, they're like, man, that's riding. These are, these are positions that 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 people don't necessarily work on, like Khabib style, where they'll just ride you and hang on you, make you carry the weight. And uh, no, not really, man. Cause I think uh, I feel, if anything, Ariel, I feel bad for the facts. I do want to entertain. I do want to put on a show. But at the at at, at, the, at the end of the day, dude, I do want to get that much closer and I do want to fight Demetrius Johnson and uh, and that's all it was uh, I don't want to say it was a safe way out but that was just the game plan that me and my team had and I told you if you can now strike me I will wrestle you if I if I, if I can <laughs> so I said that the last meeting so and I was kind of kind of saying that towards towards better because I knew he was I knew he was next I says, if you can now strike me, if you hit me a little too much than, than what I like, you're going down. I'm going to take you down. So that's it. Thank you, guys.